Hello YouTube, um, in this second video of data description, I'm gonna discuss the numerical um, data description and how to do it in Excel. Now we have three main data description that are important for us, which is the average and the median, and then the measure of this, uh, this uh, dispersion of the data, and then measuring the correlation numerically, and then how is that related to the scatter graph. Now, um, the first example here, you can see the average and the median. Here is a group, the results of the students in a class, students 1, 2, 3, till 8. Um, you just choose an empty cell, and in order for you to calculate, you need to start the function option. Now, you have two, two options to start the function option, either by start directly typing the equation sign, and then you start your function, directly if you know the name of it for example here we know that for measuring the mean we have to use the average uh, function which we start a v e and we can choose the average here and then we take the pointer and mark the field and then we press enter and that will be um, the mean uh, for this group. Now there is another option which is you choose a, um, a, an empty cell and you click on the symbol <coughs> of the function here. By clicking here then you choose um, here are the mainly um, uh, functions most recent use. Now for you to change um, either you can choose all the function and then you can look from all the functions that exist or you can choose the statistical one and here you go average and then we click OK and then here will tell us to choose um, the numbers uh, for us to, to be able to choose we go click on this symbol and then choose the range and click back in again and we say OK and that's another way but if you already know the the function that you are using, just really easy. Start with the equal sign and start typing the the first two letters of the um, of the function. Excel will suggest something. You know that that's the one that you are using. Choose and then enter. Um, now um, the average. Uh, now the average, as we as we're gonna be discussing, is. Um, not always um, representing the group well. As you can see here, the salary in the company is ranging from ten thousand pounds till one hundred, um, sorry, to one million um, thousand pound, which is that's mean this salary is for the boss. Now, if you take the average equal average function for this, it will be one hundred and twenty six which is not quite right because there's only one salary is one million and all the rest are less than twenty thousand pound so for that we can choose uh, we can create the maiden which is the mean the value that's in the middle when you organize the data uh, from the smaller to the uh, to the higher now for you to use the maiden again the same option uh, either you use the function up or you start using but I know I'm <coughs> I'm going to use the maiden function so I start with equal and start typing M E here you go double click on maiden and then it I'll take the pointer I choose all the that the range of data and I click enter and it choose me that it's 18000 is um, the maiden of this group now of course there is other types of the uh, of average or mean which is the, the geometrical mean or the harmony um, harmonical mean again if you want to to calculate these means for you uh, for your uh, study you can again equal and then start with for example geo and here geo mean double click same concept choose the range click enter it's good it's calculate the geometrical mean the harmonical mean again the same thing har mean double click change the choose the range and click now of course the geometrical mean and the harmonic mean are different um, 
regarding how to calculate uh, either by um, uh, multiplying the numbers with each other and then dividing them into the total number or adding them together and dividing them into um, the total number of the calculation and I think that's the, the average and mean option now if you want to measure the dispersion of the data which is mean how close these data are to each other now to give you an example what I'm talking about let's calculate um, the average for these two groups uh, equal average choose the first one enter it's 50 equal average double click choose the range enter it's 50 the mean value for both groups are 50 uh, now but if you if you looked at this here the data range is from 48 till 52 and here from 0 to 10 so one of the options that we can use to see to measure that the, the this uh, dispersion of the data is something called the average now for us to calculate the average uh, sorry the range it has to be uh, a mix between the maximum function and the minimum function you click equal you start with max that's the maximum function we choose the range of data we close the brackets and then we click minus because the range is the maximum value minus the minimum value and we go the min minimum function choose the data again close the function and we click enter as you can see here the range is 4 now for us to change the um, range here again equal maximum double click on it choose the range close the brackets minus sign and then the minimum function double click choose the range and close the sign and then enter which is 100% uh, 100 sorry and that's the range that's of course the last that the first groups are we as much uh, since it has smaller range they are way uh, the results are way much more closer this mean that uh, the average value or the mean value represent the group way much better than the second group the second value is uh, the variance of the group because the range only take two values which is the smallest and the biggest but the variance will take um, all the group um, all the uh, all the members of this group uh, into account not only the biggest and the smallest so it is in a way more accurate regarding calculate, calculating the dispersion, uh, dispersion of the group so in order to calculate the variance start with the equal sign variance go with var or var b which is b for the population of var b and then we choose the range and we click enter it's 4 and we start with equal this is the estimated variance sorry I think we have done a mistake here we don't want the estimated variance we want um, clear content now we go equal variance and variant p which is the variance not the estimated one enter we do the same here equal variance p calculates variance and enter Um, for this variance statistically it's um, measure um, uh, the square of the differences for each value to the mean value and um, this mean it's been squared and this in order to emphasize for the if uh, the effect of every of every uh, change in the value to the mean um, there is another value that's called the normal um, in order to normalize the variance which is called the standard deviation which is the square 
root for the variance so but there is also another function for it which is stdev double click choose the range uh, and there is another way which is equal to the variance and then you can uh, square root it manually okay standard deviation and here again standard equal standard deviation b i think we need to stand uh, standard deviation b equal this one this value which is the value of the variance to the square root yeah I think here we um, we choose a completely wrong um, <coughs> no not here here clear content now here for standard deviation use standard deviation because we st we choose the estimated standard deviation we need to choose the calculated standard deviation for the entire population enter and that's the standard deviation and the variation so these are numerically how to measure the depression dispersion of the data um, of course the lower these numbers that mean the closer their data to each other that means the more uh, representative uh, the mean value for this group and so on now um, to create the coloration uh, and scatter graph of course we talked about the scatter graph or the scatter diagram um, in the visual description of the data um, here we're not gonna repeat that the only thing we're gonna repeat is that when you choose two uh, set of variables for example here's the comparison between the studying hour and the month of birth um, and then you go insert scatter diagram and you represent that with a line no sorry that's not uh, with the line that's uh, insert scatter graph the normal scatter graph and then for that you have to use here one of the description here is the function in order to tell you how this uh, function related between each other how do these two variable uh, relate between uh, each other as you can see here from the graph there is no trend there is no relationship between these two and for us to, to measure it numerically we need to measure the correlation uh, we need to, uh, to use the correlation uh, function equal c o r here is the correlation function and then we choose as you can see tell us exactly what does it is he want us to do we need to change the first array, array then make a comma and then choose the second one so we can choose one make a comma and choose the second one close the bracket and click enter 0 0.07 which is really close to 0 it's um, very very low at 2 um, you can say that there is no relationship now let's uh, see between uh, studying hours and the marks every student's got at the end now let's see the graph first we choose one and use this one and then insert scatter graph and then we fit it with a, a straight line which is in a way cool in order to see the linear relationship between uh, these uh, two variables and here is the linear relationship and the closer of course the results to your line uh, the more accurate the higher that means there is an error and this value is um, um, contribution to the error of this uh, relationship um, now for us to measure the also again the correlation numerically uh, equal correlation and then we choose the first the first array comma 
the second one and then click enter 0 0.8 for which is considered a high correlation the relationship between studying our and marks um, this is a very quick summary for the uh, calculation of the numerical description of statistic or the data um, and thanks for watching